Welcome back to Sekiro, with me and my wife, Anni. Uh... In the last episode, we explored, or started to explore, Bodhisattva Valley. And fought a bunch of monkeys, which was horrible. Yeah, that was traumatizing. <laughs> uh, so, I was trying to see a way to get back, because I know there's more stuff to explore over there, around where the monkeys were. I was just doing that off-camera, and I realized that I don't think there is a way back. At least not, like, immediately right here, because I got here by, I think, like, jumping on or under those hands. Grapple points or, like, swing points. But I can't seem to go back. Like, nothing appears as even being close, and I sprinted and jumped out there towards the hands and still couldn't reach them. And I landed on a tree down there that I grappled to, and then... And then I uh, used the... I'm just gonna call it the homeward bone. I used the <laughs> homeward bone to get back here, which is why it reset all my uh, my healing cords and stuff, the Tomagotchi. 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 Yeah, I didn't actually want everything to reset because I wanted to go back over there and didn't want the monkeys to respawn, but I guess it doesn't matter because I can't go there. So let's go down. I spotted a Yeti thing. So that's probably a boss. <laughs> Oh, there's a little baby in the statue's arms. Oh! Which way do you think I should go first? Down into the poison? Or towards the yeti? Towards the yeti. Because it wasn't as low down. Oh, we got these trees just like at that one spot with all the yeah. gunners. Where I can just swing, swing, swing. So that's definitely going to be an important part of the fight. It was an important, important part of the fight at the gun fort, though. <laughs> at well, the gunner place. <laughs> potentially an important part of the fight. <laughs> Alright. What's it doing? Oh, it has a sword through its neck. Oh. Oh, it's pissed off you killed all its kiddos. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, flying while well, you're up in the air, projectiles do shit ton of damage. I'm more just surprised that it hit me in midair. Oh. Uh. This is a really cool enemy. I'm just looking at it. Yeah. Also, it destroys the trees. Oh, I could have grappled to it. Oh. I wonder if it would be scared by firecrackers? Probably, yeah. I mean, it's a beast type. Yeah. Well, we'll try this. Walking? Yep. <laughs> oh no!
Hold on. Whirlwind Slash is not good for this. Nightjar or Ichimanji? Maybe Ichimanji after, um... Firecracker. Yeah. It poisoned me a little bit. That's gross. Oh. I just first tried that boss. Yeah. Whose sword was that? Was that their own sword? Oh, oh no, no. <laughs> Are you kidding no, me? No, 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 no. Rejuvenating <laughs> waters, no. Oh, I did not first try this boss. What the fuck is going on? Uh, wow, that is fucking stupid. I love this game. Oh. That is so fucked up. Yeah. Oh, it can't really see that well, can it? No. Oh. Oh, you can't be sunny like that anymore because it's it's it doesn't have a head anymore. I, I don't know. It might just have been out of range. No, you're right. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh. Don't I have a terror gourd? Yes. Okay, I should take that once I have an opportunity. Right about now is good. But it doesn't. I don't think it reduces. Oh wait, yes, yes, yes. It, it does. does. It just won't cure it. Well, actually, <laughs> what's the point of curing it? You die as soon as it goes. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this this enemy is seriously fucking like sick. Yeah. It's really fucked up, but also really cool. Yeah, I love how it's like completely different movement now. Yeah. It's like two bosses, basically. Uh, yeah. Let's put that on my hot bar. I probably don't need ceramic shard for this fight. Yeah, no, really not a rise either, I think. Mm, yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I might want to use a candy, actually. Um, I mean, yeah, any attack or vitality one would be good. Yeah. Hmm. Reduces vitality damage? Yeah, sure. Hold on. I think I actually want... Each uh, Nitro Slash.
Oof. Oh. Man, I haven't done that much to it. Uh, we still got two or less. Well, oh, right, yeah, revives. I'm not using the trees at all. Yeah. Fuck. Jesus. Uh. <sighs> God, this is a cool fight. Yeah. Maybe I should try to use the trees? Mm, I don't know. I don't know what they're really going to do for me. Yeah, I guess swoop you out real quick, make you vulnerable for damage from projectiles. That was cool. <laughs> they didn't do anything, but it was cool. Yeah. Hold on, Ichimanji double. It really did. <laughs> I heard the sound this time. Hmm. Ooh. I can't believe I was alive. I must have had like one hit point.
not doing anything. Going around the trees? Yeah, like, yeah. there's sometimes points to, like, get onto its back, but I, I, it's not appearing very much, and it doesn't really seem worth it. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Uh, I think just kill me. Damn. I'm not doing good enough. It's weird that I did better the first time. Yeah. Let's see if by any chance I can sneak up to it with Gachin's sugar. I guess it just helps you avoid attacks, possibly. Yeah. <laughs> nasty. <laughs> You're a nasty boy. What about it? And disgusting. All right, so we got a second to think. I know we're in water, but I think you should try putting it in fire. Okay, yeah. Oh, um, if it's giving me terror, then wouldn't divine confetti work? Mm, maybe. 
baby. Let's go with damage increasing. Yeah. Um, I'm going to switch the purple gourd over here because these are going to be the two ones that I use the most. I forgot what I'm putting here. Pellets. Yeah, that's good. So I'll try putting uh, them on fire. Do you the eye glass? No, but I don't really have anything else to put there. Can you just take it off? Oh, yeah. I was thinking, what's the point? But actually, yeah, that's a good point. The point <laughs> is not to waste the spots. So you have to flip through another thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so firecrackers do nothing. I'll try flame. Anything else I want to put here? I mean, I guess Mist Raven's always good. Uh, Divine Abduction? I'm sure that'll work. Yeah. <laughs> It'll just go like, oh, shit. Well, guess I'm out of here. Bye. <laughs> Does it spend a lot of time in the air? Gouging top? Uh, no, it doesn't really. Alright. Hmm. It is on fire. Yeah. Yeah, that's doing a pretty good job, actually. Yeah. What? You want to be a fire? Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to burn it as much as I can. I just, I'm not sure when a good opportunity is. Yeah. When is it safe? I guess when it does the AoE, I can do uh. it. You know, after I use the purple gourd. Whoa. Okay, that works. This ape is on fire. <laughs> fire. Fire. Yeah, that does good damage. Ah. ah. One more fire. Yeah. Okay. Should I try Divine Confetti now? Uh, I don't think you need Divine Confetti here. Because you were doing damage before, too. No. Put it back on.
Oh, it gets tired after it does oh. that. Hell yeah! Oh. oh, right in the neck hole. That's gross. Oh. Oh. oh! 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 Fucking hell! It's not. Is it actually dead this time? Please, please, please! Yes, the body's gone. Jesus! <sighs> so that was one of the infested, huh? That is. It seems like rejuvenating powers come from two different sources, either dragon's blood or from infestation. Huh. <sighs> the guardian ape was defeated, though its roar can still be heard. It is said that an infested body marks the undying. Yeah, what's the connection between dragon's blood and and being undying and coming back from the dead in these infestations. I think... I think dragon's blood maybe causes um, to rot an infestation to come to other people and the rejuvenating waters cause them to come on the person themselves who is being resurrected. Wait, what do you mean? The... Monkey was sick because it's got its resurrection powers from the rejuvenating waters. Mm. But Wolf is healthy, but everyone around him is sick because he gets his power from the dragon's blood. 
I wonder if it's like a diluted or twisted form of the dragon's blood that causes the infestation. Mm. Also, I just can't get the image out of my head of maybe... What if I, Ankuro, has no. a worm inside of us? No! Yeah. <laughs> Ah, slender finger. The slender finger of a young woman. Great. It's a prosthetic tool. What the oh, fuck? Oh, no. It's a gooey finger. Found in the belly of the guardian ape, it is partially digested. There is a shinobi technique called the finger whistle that can drive beasts wild. The one who used it before clearly used it for this purpose, as evidenced by the finger's open hole. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this game. I love how that enemy moves so much more than I thought it was. I was like, oh, that's a pretty easy enemy. No. <laughs> but you second tried it. Well, third tried it. Right? Third or fourth try. I don't remember which. Guardian Ape's watering hole. Yeah, it's been drinking the water. Poor thing. Aww. Let's go equip the finger. Yeah. And also, let us not r forget to do the memory. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, let me do that right now. I was like, oh, am I being obnoxious by reminding you of the memory you just got it? There's no way you could have broken it in it, but then... <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, which option is it? Uh... Attack power? Oh, yeah. Confront memory, guardian ape. What? You wanna go ape? <laughs> go for it. Go for it. They say that an infested body is the mark of the undying, but such a long life would surely be quite lonesome for even an ape. Perhaps the echoing roar of the guardian ape was in fact a solicitation of sorts. It wanted to be killed? Is what it's suggesting, I think? I wonder how long it's been alive for. Aww. And I wonder if the sculptor has anything different to say now that Emma isn't here anymore? Aww. Now that they've moved? They're kind of Alone? Yeah. お前さんか。何ミコ様。え?お救いすることができた。わしには関わり合いのない話だ。いいよ。礼を言う。え?少し目の影が薄くなったようじゃ。なんだと。それで何か用か。Everyone's just saying to the wolf that basically he's happy to be a dad. わしは忍びを捨てた。じゃが、その忍びき種だけはどうにも捨てられぬ。その足が腕を失ったお前さんを拾うとは因果よな。I'm sorry we don't have any tea. Yeah. Finger whistle. Its sound will grab an enemy's attention and draw them to the whistle's location. By locking onto a target, only the targeted enemy will hear the whistle. That is very oh. useful. Also, look at that fucking image. That is disgusting. Nasty. There's literally whistle holes in the fucking finger. Yeah, I fucking hate it. Oh my god. But I also want to remind you, because I just remembered that we have more booze for Emma. Oh, the monkey booze. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. <sighs> the sound of the finger whistle enrages beasts, making them unable to distinguish friend from foe. Attract enemy attention by blowing the finger whistle. Enrages beasts make them unable to discern. Yes. Only the target enemy can hear the finger whistle when locked on. 
If no target is locked, all surrounding enemies will hear the sound. Okay, so yeah, just basically like the pottery thing, but a million times better. <laughs> and if used on beasts, you can make them actually hurt their own. Which means, oh god, I can, I can use that on the monkeys. No, that's even worse. Oh my god, that's exactly what it's for. I'm not gonna do that. No. Monkey on monkey violence. No. And let me see if there's any new upgrades to do. There's one tool that I have the stuff to upgrade. Double Divine Abduction. Looks like it just has more blades on it. On the leaf thing. Yeah. Uh, can be waved twice in succession. I think that's it. Yeah. I think that's about all it does. Oh, hey, that actually unlocked two things that I can upgrade. Long Spark and Mountain Echo. Can I do both independently? Yeah, I just need 1,200 coin. Let me go get it. Okay, let's get these two upgrades. First is Long Spark. Compounded compounded gunpowder is said to have a long spark, and by increasing the proportion of black gunpowder, the effect can be prolonged for longer than the average firecracker. The flames of the firecracker bloom for a short while. Scatter a long-lasting flash of gunpowder in front of you. Easily frightens beasts. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Stronger yeah. effect? Stuns them for longer? I guess. If it's gunpowder, does it, like, hurt them a bit? Whoa. I don't know, but let's get it. And then Mountain Echo. A finger whistle? Uh, yep. Um, taking a deep breath before performing a whistle allows for the sound to be delayed. Oh, my God. Does that mean what I think it means? What? So you can, like, target an enemy uh -huh. and take, like, a deep breath and send it out, and it depends how long the delay is, but then, like, reposition yourself to a different area, so then when they go to the sound, you can come up behind them. Because oh. they're going to come towards you, but if you can have them come towards you and then move somewhere else during the delay... Oh. Uh -huh. So hold it to do the mountain echo. It doesn't say how long the delay is. Well, there's something we're going to have to just test. What? You want to test prosthetics? Go for it. Go for it. That's like the song of the series. Yeah. All right, let's try out the long spark. More crackly. It's very cool. Yeah. Double divine abduction. I love the little poof of leaves. Oh yeah, they go poof. I should probably test this on an enemy along with the whistle. Okay, so let's say I wanted to attract this enemy. It could be like that. And then I could go hide in here. And they're like, oh. And I can be like, Oh, <laughs> that could be extremely useful. That's super cool. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure about the point of double abduction with these people because they disappear with one abduction, don't they? Yeah. But I don't know. Can I spirit all of them away? Yeah. Huh. I, again, only needed to do it once, but yeah. <laughs> Let's do it again. Do a whole group. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> God, it feels over overpowered almost for those uh, enemies. Let's give some monkey booze to Emma. まずはいただきますね。<笑> 
信じていませんね。幼き戦後後に一人私は呆然と立っていました。何も泣くことも起こることもできず、ただ呆然と。そうしたらサルは握り飯を食っていた。ソルゴコ。はい、それはうまそうに。うらめしいと思いました。そうしたら今度はサルが握り飯をくれたのです。とても上手かった。親切のサルだ。親切なサルでした。では、また。Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to see what's beyond the Guardian Ape's watering hole. Bye-bye!